Okay, question 4C is describe a method to determine the mass of dissolved solids in a 100 centimeters cubed sample of river water. And it's worth four marks. So it's going to be four bullet, one, four bullet points. One, two, three, four. Uh, now what I might do here is just to get an idea, right, what have I got to do? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to start off with, so this is where you can just do this in the margin sometimes, I'm going to start off with a container of one of water, and this water is going to have stuff dissolved in it. So that's my river water. I'm then going to allow that all to evaporate until I've just got that left. So I'm going to water, I'm going to let the water evaporate, or I might boil it. It doesn't really matter, but I need it to, to, to evaporate off or to boil off. Um, and I'm then going to weigh, I'm then going to find the mass, sorry, of those salts, the, the, those dissolved things there. Okay, so what else is going to be mass? So I've got, I've kind of got an idea of how, in my head how it's going to happen. So how am I going to find them? So I need to think about what I'm going to do. For, so the first thing is I'm going to measure 100 centimeters cubed of water, first of all. And to do that, I'm going to make sure that I describe how I do it. So I'm going to measure 100 centimeters cubed of river water. And I'm going to say what I'm going to use as well. So using a measuring cylinder. Okay, be really careful here. In science, we don't use jugs. Okay, and we don't measure in beakers either. We measure, whenever we measure in volume, we use a measuring cylinder. Okay, and if you remember the measuring cylinder is this is the tall beaker like that with the numbers down the side. Okay, so the first thing is I've got that. I'm then going to pour the water. Uh, in fact, before I do that, I'm going to need to know, I need to know the mass of this. But I'm not going to scrape everything out of here. So what I'm going to do to find the mass of this, I'm going to measure the mass of that beaker minus the mass of the empty beaker, whatever that's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to find the mass of the, the empty beaker first. So find the mass of an empty beaker. using a balance. Okay, so I find the mass of an empty beaker using a balance. So at every time I'm saying what I'm doing and what I'm using, I start each sentence with an action verb. So I'm saying this is what I'm doing. So measure this, find that. What am I going to do then? Then I'm going to pour the water into the beaker and heat until all the water has has evaporated. Okay, so I'm going to heat it up then until all the water has evaporated. So now I've got this. Now I need to find the mass. So I'm going to measure the mass. Measure mass of beaker with uh, with so we call them the solutes okay with the solid in using a balance I'm going to subtract subtract original beaker mass to find mass of solids that were dissolved and obviously they're not anymore in 100 
hundred centimeters cubed of river water. Okay, I'm just going to check. Does that make sense? Um, have I got everything in there? Would that would that give me the the, the sort of would, would it give me what I need? Uh, and just going through the mark scheme, the thing here to get the the top marks for this, I have to make sure. Um, that there are three bits. I have to make sure that I've got that 100 centimeter cubed of water. I have to make sure that I heated it until it is dry, until all the water is evaporated. And also, I have to have some way of saying that I'm going to subtract the original beaker mass um, to find the mass of the dissolved solids. Okay, so those three things there will give me the four marks in total. Okay, but I think sometimes just drawing uh, the little diagram. Can really help as well.